So in this circuit, uh, we're given uh, two voltage sources, a three and a five, and this inductor. And we're told that the switch has been closed for a significantly long time, such that the circuit is in steady state. And so then at T equals zero, the circuit is opened. And so they're wanting us to determine at that instant that it's opened, what is the current and the voltage across the inductor and expression for the change in voltage with respect to time, with respect to time across the voltage um, at the moment the voltage, uh, the switch opens. So we need to recall then, when we're in steady state, um, the inductor will look like a short circuit uh, as far as the circuit is concerned. And so that being the case, um, we would expect to see then current flowing from this source like so, and then current flowing from this source like so, both to the short circuit. And so that should give us our value for IL. So therefore, we can write an expression for IL, and this is right before the switch opens. And so it'll be the current from the five volt source of the red, which would be five over two. That's uh, Ohm's law voltage over resistance. And in addition to that, we should have from the three volt source, uh, three over three. So now when we calculate that out, that's going to be seven over two amps, seven over two amps. But we know that for an inductor, you cannot have instantaneous change in the current. So therefore, IL at zero minus has got to equal IL at zero plus. So in this case, that will be our current flow in the inductor at the instant the switch opens. Okay, so likewise, um, you're looking at our circuit uh, we can write an expression then for our voltage across the inductor at uh, zero plus. And so that's going to be zero plus. This switch is open, right? So that's an open circuit. So then we could just show that then like this. So this circuit is open. Get this cleaned up here just a bit. So therefore, the right half of the circuit does not matter. And then we can come back and say the expression for the voltage then will just be the 5 minus 2, the resistance, times IL at 0 plus. Well, we know that. That's 5 minus 2 times 7 halves. And so when we calculate that out, we should get minus 2 volts. So now we have our expression for the current right after and the voltage right after the switch opens uh, in the inductor. So now with the switch open, so we'll say with switch open, we can now write an expression uh, around that voltage loop. And so that would be uh, around, excuse me, that would be around this loop here. And so when we do that, what we have is, of course, have our voltage source. And so that's going to be five, and that's got to equal to all the voltage drops. So our first drop will be this resistor. And so that's two times IL. And then next we have the inductor itself. And so we can express that then as the inductance 
times the current with respect to time. And so now we can differentiate this. So let's do that. So then uh, differentiating Uh, constant's going to go to zero, right? And so then we'll have two times DIL over DT. And then we'll have plus, uh, this term will then become the voltage DVL over DT. So that being the case, we can set these two guys equal to each other. So we will have uh, dVL over dT, and this will be evaluated at zero plus, which is what we're looking for, should be equal to minus two dIL over dT. This is also at zero plus, and so that's gonna be minus two um, times uh, VL zero plus over four uh, for the inductance. And so when we calculate that out, uh, what we arrive at is it will have one volt per second change. across the inductor. So here's our current. After I have to the switch closes, our voltage, and then our change in the voltage with respect to time um, across the inductor at the moment the switch closes.